Okay, time for... Okay, before I do the emergency content, I would like to sign off on something. I took a trip recently. I went to a very beautiful place. I will tell you no details about this, but rest assured, picture abject beauty in your mind. Pure objective beauty. Imagine that you took out your Google 7 Pro Pixel camera. Let me get the actual name of this camera so I can fucking pull out my phone. Just like I have in my hand right now. I went to my camera. What is the name of this? It's a Pixel 7 Pro. I got it right. You take out your Pixel, your handy, trusty Pixel 7 Pro that you paid like 800 fucking dollars for when it was new. And you point your Pixel 7 Pro at the most abject beauty thing that you've ever seen ever. Uh, that your eyes have beheld and that your eyes cherish and that your brain still to this day cherishes as a memory. And you take a picture of it. And then it looks nice. The picture. And you go to upload it. And it desaturates in your fucking hands. Something happens. Some post-process kicks in. And your photo fucking desaturates. The color literally drains from it. Like how a person would lose color in their face if they got decapitated or, or gutted. Like sepakud. And I'm just looking at this nasty, disgusting mockery of my photo that I took. And I tried everything to fix it. I took, I even started to turn on just in case. I took the raws and I played with the saturation and every photo I took was bad. And so I, um, I, uh, went online and I looked into this and it's all the Redditors I saw that were talking about this said, oh, the issue is that the Pixel 7 camera sucks. You should buy a Samsung next time. And I don't trust that. So here's my, here's my, as I like to do during my streams, I like to agitate my audience into contacting me or posting something. Um, I'm participating in the photography discussions on the Kiwi Farms. I, I um, have been looking at cameras, and there's no fucking way I can justify the expense of, like, an actual camera. Because I, I did some deep dive, and I, I, I decided that I liked the pictures of something called... I think it's Pentamax. It's like an old Japanese brand. They make a DSLR. Or, and th their pictures just look great. But it only records at like 1080p. And the videos are just awful from it. But the pictures are amazing. Um, we Okay, fucker. Listen here. I did not want to support a Japanese company regardless. Guess what? Every single company that makes cameras in, this, uh, in the world right now, all of them. Every single one. There's not even a fucking Korean one. All of them are Japanese. The only exception that I found is some company called Leica. And if you want to get a, a fucking Leica camera, you better go to the Hollywood Hills with a gun. And you might just start shooting people and stealing their jewelry so that you can sell it to afford one of these fucking cameras. They're not, like, technically any more superior than, like, the, the Canon or, or Sony ones. But they're, like, they start at, like, $6,000 for an actual camera body. And that's before you even look at the lenses for these fucking things. So if you want to send me a Leica camera, go for it. I'll take it. But uh, every other company that exists, and they're made in Germany, by the way. They were, they were a West German company. Uh, but now they're a German company, and all the other camera companies are in Japan. So, um... As I was saying, I was, I was looking at it, and, it, it, like, the whole topic of cameras, like, frustrated me for many reasons. Because, number one, I know I'm not going to carry around a full-size fucking camera with me. Like, if I buy, like, a mirrorless or something, um, there's no way I'm... Uh, there's, they're big. They're really big. You can't carry them. or They don't fit flat. And then if you want, like, a compact camera, they look like shit. And they cost a lot, and you can't really... I don't know. You just, I, I can't justify it. I can't justify the expense. And that thing made me sad for some reason. Because I was looking into it, and I'm like, dude, I could buy these fancy cameras. And then I was thinking about, like, how uh, streamers buy these cameras and all this shit. And I was like, I can't show people. I can't even justify this expense for this camera that I want. Because I can't show people where I go. I can't show people what I do. I can't show people... Um, I can't like live stream myself. I can't go on trips and show people because like trannies and fucking psychopaths will try to ruin everything that I like. And it made me really depressed because <laughs> it's just like, I'm in like a self-imposed isolation. I can't even show people because people assume that I'm like locked up and I don't do anything. And I do all sorts of shit. And I just, I literally can't tell anybody anything that I do. And I'm like the only person in the entire fucking world who's like in, imposed in this. Like normal people either work a job uh, that's like a normal job. And then they go out with, with like, 
their their circle of friends or whatever and do shit that way and that's like rewarding itself but then like most people in my position that have an audience they they sh- they they share what they do and it's rewarding and i don't know i just wish i could like show people shit that i do yeah yeah parasocial north korea that's right that's correct Photography for the sake of photography, especially in nature, can be really rewarding. I don't know. I was like, I don't. If I ever want to record anything, then if you want like a combination good recording and good photography camera, those are like expensive. They started like two thousand dollars. I can't justify them. I'm saving every penny that I can right now, and I um. So I have money when I go back to the U.S. and I can't justify a two thousand dollar asset expense right now. Um. Dude, they don't have to go to Serbia. That's the thing. People like, trannies won't go to Serbia. Number one, I have seen people um, posting about it, like trying to find me in Serbia. Number two, they don't have to. If you get docs, if I got docs right now, what do you think would happen? The pe- you wouldn't even need to visit. People would go and find out where I live, and then they would go to every person that lives next to me, every person that lives in an apartment building, every person that lives adjacent to me, every business in the area, and they would send a picture of me, and they would say, this guy rapes kids to death. And it doesn't have to be true. It doesn't have to have any evidence. It doesn't have to say anything besides that. And that's enough to cause serious fucking issues that I don't want to deal with. So there's a big fucking problem when you are demonized as a non-human that nobody can do any wrong against because you're inherently objectively evil and uh, people can rationalize doing whatever the fuck they want. It is. It's difficult. It's difficult being the top dog because... um, because people go after you. And you don't even really have the... Like, if I had the resources, I could do whatever the fuck I want, but I don't have the resources to do whatever the fuck I want. Just how it goes. So, I don't know. The whole... Like, I got into this whole, like, rabbit hole of, like, researching cameras for, like, hours and hours and hours yesterday. Um, and I just... Uh, it really bummed me out. I literally, somebody said, I literally cannot leave the house without seeing a troon or a pooner. It's so much worse when you go into Central Europe, um, but it's it's bad. It's bad. Like you see people walking around in public, and you're just like, you're like a freak. Why the fuck are you out in public? But it's just normal now that people look like this and they act like this. What camera are you looking for? Purpose? Um, mostly people in nature. Um. Because what I, what, I, what I was looking at was a na- natural thing. Um, I climbed up very high, and it was very pretty. And I wanted to take a picture. And uh, it, it was a lot of effort <laughs> to get there. And then when I got there, it was very pretty. It was an excellent uh, happenstance time. And I'm just like, oh, the pictures all suck. It's true, I exercised for my photo, and I didn't get to capture what I saw. Uh. Tons of pooners, not as many troons, but the ones who are are very low effort. Um... Dude, it, it's, they must come out at night, because if you ever walk around, like, in a city, like in Europe, you see all these little Antifa stickers on everything. And it just makes, I never see anybody putting them up, but they're everywhere. It's sort of like a weird thing in European cities where people just like post, put stickers up fucking all over the place. But you never, I never see anybody doing it. So I imagine the troons scurry out at night and they, uh, they put up all their stickers. Isn't it safe to show photos of places that you've traveled to though? Like places you've gone once that are not so close to you. Yes. Theoretically. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I've thought about that. But then it's like I'm traveling for the sake of it, whereas usually what I want to take a picture of is near me or I'm uh, I'm there for a while. I don't usually just travel. Um, I don't know. And I'm, I'm always, like, apprehensive about sharing anything because you never know how shit can bite you in the ass, you know? You release something that you think is innocuous and then somebody puts in... A hundred hours to like track it down, and then they find like a 
Facebook photo that has like a U in it <laughs> for, for no reason. And you're just like, uh, okay. It's just a pain in the ass. Oh, well. Um, if you, I don't know, I don't want to ask for people's camera equipment, but I'm thinking about it. Um, I don't know. If you have any ideas, let me know. I guess I should just get one that is like a compact and not worry about getting something too expensive. But I literally just can't justify it. If people want to send one, fuck it. Yeah, but I want something I'm actually going to use is the issue. I just, the and then it's like the the Pentax one that I really liked. The video on that sucked, but the pictures were really great. And the thing is that they don't make cameras anymore. Like they've been completely destroyed by Canon and Kodak. Uh, no, not Kodak. The other one, Nikon. But it's like if you buy if you buy like the if I bought the one that I really wanted. Number one, I can't use it for videos because the fucking phone is better for it than for videos than for that. And then you're stuck with camera equipment that nobody that you can't swap because they all have like their closed ecosystem camera filter lenses and shit. And if you buy a um, a one thousand dollar lens for for Pentax, you can't then use it for Nikon. So it's like you kind of feel compelled. Like okay, I might as well just get a Canon then, or I might as well get a Nikon because if I try to get something weird, I'm gonna regret it when I can't. If, I, if someone even gave me like a Leica camera, like. I can't afford the lenses. <laughs> it's a nightmare. Ask Sam Hyde and spend twenty thousand. What will people? What will you do when pe people show them the photos you post and not care? I guess. I don't know, to... My my photos are would be amazing, of course. Don't ask Sam Hyde. <laughs> <laughs> you can use the lenses. They have adapters, but there's a lot that goes into it that you aren't going to do. Point and shoot is probably your best way. That's what I thought. I, but that's like, I don't know. If I'm going to buy like a $1,000 point and shoot camera, maybe I should just upgrade to the latest Samsung Galaxy S24 or whatever the fuck and get the Samsung that all the fucking editors said. And then my core problem is fixed. I don't have another accessory to tote around. Like, is it is like a um, is a compact c camera any more expensive than what it would cost us to upgrade the phone? Probably not. Do I know anything about photography? No. I know that you take pictures of things. A phone can't represent. Replicate a camera, but if it's a compact, it's the same fucking size, right? I have an S24 Ultra. The camera is really good. Gondola is telling me what I've already believed. Buy an old compact. I should buy a, um, a Pentax K1000 and use film. Then, then I would be really, really uh, trendy. I would be really hip. All my film develops would be on uh, on TikTok. Everyone would respect me. <laughs> Thank you for watching this clip. This is Perspicacity. Remember to like and subscribe.